All right, what's up, TFD fans? This is your boy Aldrick. I'm here with my good man, my good sir, my brother Mickey Gall. What's what up, on? pal? Nothing much, man. Uh, as you were saying earlier, just here, just pushing through these tough times right now. But uh, it's all good. We just gotta stay patient. Oh, yeah, definitely for sure, man. How have you been? Like, how as far as like training wise, and just personally, how are you going through this? Uh, personally, I'm fine. You know, um, it is what it is. It's a weird, weird time. Shit. Shit, it's kind of shitty you know everything's closed down people are scared but uh i'm cool you know i've been i've been getting my work in uh you know working with working with a couple couple of my healthy friends well you know we always check in like yo you coughing you don't lie to me don't try and be cool don't like to be a hero right now um yeah so we're but we're all, we're all good we're getting our work uh but like you know it's it stinks um you know the the gym is uh is struggling. My you know all the businesses around are struggling. So you know just trying to support, trying to um you know check check in on other people, make sure everybody's doing all right. You know, well, yeah, most definitely for sure. I feel that um they shut down our um gym over here too. So you know a lot of the small businesses are like suffering over here as well. Hell yeah, uh, small business and micro business are taking a hit, man. Taking a real hit. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks, man, because it's like this is like their source of income, and you know, just be shut down for a whole another month. It, it you know, it's, it's gonna be tough to get it back. But you know, like you said, just having the support of people, you know. Yeah, just... yeah, we all gotta, you know. Hopefully, if 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 something's gonna come out of this, I hope some good that you know we some good will come out of it. That will, will you know, we'll we'll stick together. Realize how much we do need each other. Realize how much we miss each other right now. Uh, you know, we're, we're all lacking some of that human interaction. Um, yeah. And I hope, you know, I think, I think I do believe that it will, you know, will this stuff that we took for granted and, and it'll, it'll, it'll help us stop sweating the small shit, you know, it'll forget the bullshit and just realize what's important, your family, your friends, everyone, you know, surviving, doing well, feeling okay, mentally and physically, you know? Um, so I, you know, I, I, I do believe that there will be some good come out of this. And, you know, there's, there's no joy without pain. And, you know, we're all bored right now. So we're going to get to have some fun when we can resume our regular lives. It's going to be a little sweeter than it was before. So um, other than that, man, I know I've spoken with other fighters as well. You know, a lot of people express their frustration, you know, not able to fight, not even to provide. Um, you know, you haven't fought in a minute, but I know you're supposed to have something coming up soon. But talk to me, like, through that. Like, how you just been processing through that? Or... Um, it's it's frustrating, but I'm not I'm not I'm not letting myself really get frustrated. Like, it's mm -hmm. it's uh, I, I I I spoke with Dana White uh like a week ago, and I, I'm really not worried. I I think uh come, I think come like the summer when whenever the uh, Dana White's working hard to try and make shit happen now. And I, you know, I'd I'd be down to go and fight with, in front of no one and put, you know, not just for myself to get paid and stuff, but you know, put something on the TV. Uh, let people, you know, everyone's stuck at home. You know, let's put some fights on and uh, you know, show show fighters, fight, you know, fighting through it and you know, fighting through a fight. We're, we're, you know, whatever your fight is, everyone's got a, a fight of their of their kind and maybe even a new fight now, trying to maintain their. You know, some people are having trouble saying they can't maintain their sanity at home or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not really worried. I think at least whenever, if even if nothing happens soon, once UFC's on, maybe this summer, I think they're going to be doing, like, mad cards. They're going to be on and popping, on, back strong. Uh, maybe doing, like, several cards, like like doing, like, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday cards. Because Dana's like, hey, we, everyone's going to get three fights this year. So there, there's going to be fights to be had. If you want fights, you can get fights. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, Bro, like international fight week uh, on the on the regular. That's that's what I'm thinking. How, I mean, yeah, because you can't. You, we're not gonna have. You can't have a fifty, you know, fight card. But you can break them up into a couple. Do you know rent the place out for a couple more days, something like that, or maybe even go to other other towns one night. Bat bat, but you know, split up the staff or something. Um, definitely, but that's crazy. Three fight cards in one week. That's good. I mean, it'll get everybody in the groove, but it's like, that's just panning that out. I mean, like you said, that'd be good for like international fight week concept. Like, have you more lead too up much? to that. Not too much. Oh, you don't much. want to cover all these cards, bro? You can't <laughs> oh, 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 I'll take advantage <laughs> of these, all right? You know, I'm just... As just, you should. As you should. I mean, um, just 
of course, that's great. You know, you guys get the opportunity, you know, three fights this year, but it's just how are you going to be able to condition your body through that, you know? We're going to find out. Only strong survive. That is true. That is true. That is true, man. Um, I got to prepare my brain for that. Damn. Three fights. Yeah, bro. I, I think, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's what I'm, I mean. Uh, yeah, I think. I think they're going to make all these cars. I think they're all going to be pushed and, and made up and everyone's going to get get fights and they're going to be looking to make a lot of fights and, you know, let's go. Shit or get off the pot. Let's fight. I mean, no. hey, man, keep me busy. I'm down with it. So Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're going to be a busy boy this summer. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Um, other than that, you know, you and I, uh, we met last summer at PFL six. I had pleasure oh, yeah. of training with uh, your friends. How are they doing? I know they're supposed to. Some of them are supposed to fight on the the uh, local uh, car Maverick MMA up here in the Poconos for guys yeah, that who don't know. Yeah, would have been this past Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I got scrapped. So it's it stinks. You know, there. I guess every everyone you know everyone's you know I had a fight fall through with Carlos Conde earlier this year, and now you know all my other teammates are are having all their fights fall through. It's a part of the sport. It's it sucks that uh, you know it's it's such a crazy thing going on. I've never seen anything like this where the world's just kind of shutting down, cl- locking everything up, closing things up. Um, but they'll be back. You know, I, I I've just been telling them uh, the same thing. I'm you know saying just stay patient. Stay patient. It's it's part. You know, you got you got to be patient sometimes, and this is one of those times. So, you know, just yeah, they're they're, they're okay though. My boys are alright. I'm training with uh with only a couple, uh only a couple guys right now. Um, but you know, when, once this shit's over, you come back to the gym too. We got to get you right, um, for your your MMA aspirations. You know, we'll get you in there one of these days soon. Oh and, yeah, for uh, sure. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, man. You know, it's always good to have you around the gym. Man, I appreciate that. And I, um, it's a pleasure, you know, working with you guys and everything like that. Just having me, you know, you, Professor D, Russ, and the guys. So it's definitely a dope environment. Can't wait to see you because uh, I'm losing my just not training in general, but I'm just keeping afloat, just keeping a positivity mindset. Yeah, bro. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just, yeah, you got to just, we just got to stay patient, stay relaxed, you know, make the most of, the, of, of what we got right now, you know. Uh, so I saw that uh, you dealt like a lot of volunteer, and I have saw that um, your mom was her soup kitchen. Has that been affected going on this pandemic? Are you guys still able to serve the community with uh, what's going on? It's it's been affected. Um, it's so instead of everyone being able to gather in the in the big dining hall, they're doing uh, to go lunches because you can't have ga- big big gatherings. Um, mm. So my, yeah, my my mom and her staff. She's now the director. We, we, we used to, uh, I've been volunteering there since I was 13 and like she would volunteer, my sister volunteer. And then, and my mom is, you know, she's, she's done a great job. She's been, a, I, I think she's been a real hero during this whole thing. She's been, you know, risking her, herself and, and uh, getting all these to go lunches for people who can't, you know, like we're talking about the micro businesses, small businesses have a problem. How about people who can barely get food to begin with? Now they can't, they can't afford food. So it's great to be able to have an outlet for that, be able to feed them, you know, a bit very basic fundamental need. And, you know, it keeps it, it keeps people from, you know, from being desperate and having to do desperate things. Um, you know, if whether they, they got to steal to feed their family or something. No, you don't have to now because, you know, there, there's an outlet for that. And uh, I'm sure there's there's more stuff like this going on everywhere. Uh, mine is in, in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey. And uh you know they're they're feeding people and and keep you know keeping people alive, keeping food in their belly, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 pr- I'm proud to be able to help that. That's good, man. I feel like we need more of that in the world because you know, yeah, we all going through our own, but people have it worse. So you know, just to Absolutely. think like, you know. Absolutely, that's exactly it, dude. We're you know the people less fortunate than us, they're they're having an even tougher time. So it's I, I think it's our responsibility, like that's our our human responsibility to help them out. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 really I'm really proud of my mom and what she's been able to do and how, I uh, yeah, just she she's been a total hero during this thing, so it's cool. Shout out to moms, man. Moms the best. <laughs> yes, Mama G. Uh, so of course you saw the news yesterday. Um, I know you're not surprised. Habib and Ferguson man. once again. <laughs> man, <laughs> dude, yeah, the MMA gods are 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 uh, a little cruel on this one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I you know I I know Dana's been doing his best to make things happen. Uh, that's and that's a it's a good guy to have uh, on your side, a good guy to work for. Um, 
and I, I you know, I don't know what's going to happen with this. It, it, that's a bummer, but you know, we'll see. Yeah, man, and um, we had two top contenders with a champion and a contender in your division, jaw jacket on social media, Usman and Masvidal. I don't know if you have been paying attention to that, but I happened to see that yesterday. So Usman's live, and what is your take on it? Um, I guess you know I I, I kind of feel that they feel they they, they want to get in there and, and fight, and uh, you know yeah, I'd be happy to go and help um, you know put on a put on a on a card whether we're fighting you know test everybody and keep the arena empty. Um, you know, all those fighters want to fight, but I'm, I also you know recognize that. You know, there, there's, there, there, there's, you know, there's bigger things. But if, if, you know, everyone wants to be able to do their, everyone wants to be able to do their job and, you know, provide an escape and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, it's who knows, who knows. I, I, I don't know when this thing's gonna blow over. I know, I, 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 I wanted to get out to, to LA to help my boy Joe Schilling train. He's supposed to have a fight May 29th. But who knows if that's, if that's done or if they're gonna put the kibosh on that and move that back. I, I don't really know. I don't really uh, know. Uh, Joe fights for Bellator, correct? Yeah, he's got he's he's fighting in Bellator May 29th. Oh yeah, I, um, I don't know if he he probably knows already, but they had just uh scrapped all their May events uh yesterday actually. Oh, just like indefinitely, everything's scrapped. Yeah, everything that May as far as the one the big San Jose card, the one that was on the 29th that you said they uh they postponed it. They like basically the pushed it back. They didn't drop a release date, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. That that is news to me. Um, but I guess that that that's probably for the best. That's the that's what the climate's like right now. You know, not a lot happening. Never seen anything like this before, man, or or heard heard of anything like this. Uh, it's interesting, right? What Wait, do you think? Answer. What do you think? There's something else at play. You think there's something? <laughs> something? Like, think this is a sleight of hand. Let's all worry about this while. Um, Government's got something else going on. I don't know. <laughs> Man, um, there's a lot of theories going on around, you know. Yeah, which could... ones do you like? What do you think? If I had to choose one, I'll say secretly some kind of warfare is being at play or they trying to do something. A whole bunch of theories going on out there. A lot of theories. A lot <laughs> of theories. There's a, I, was, I was talking a little bit with, with uh, Eve Edwards yesterday, and mm-hmm. uh, we're going to do a, like an Instagram live thing. Um, this week or something, but we like some of the one of the conspiracies are talking about. There's like a, there's like good ones and bad ones. There's like mm-hmm. some good ones where like they're actually they're clean cleaning up all the all the criminals who are in power. There, this is actually like a play to get all all those guys out, which would be a good thing. But Very. but then Eve uh, kind of shattered my optimism, like uh, and and was like, man, when is it not something darker at play? When is it not something like shittier? You know, like before, like take nine eleven, when you could you, before you can get on the plane, and now you got to do all this, all all you know you have to have all this stuff to get through TSA and all, all these changes. And I don't really know, man. I, I I'm gonna stay optimistic and hope that there's some that the if there is something to play, it's it's good, something good for all the people. But who knows, man? Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, man. Um, like I said, we've never seen anything like this before. We've seen global. We've seen like. Wars, you know, like you brought up nine eleven, other uh, stuff going on, and then this is just like this is a, one of the top of the top, you know, yeah. something that's affecting a lot of people worldwide. Yeah, man, the whole the whole world's kind of shut down. You can't go out to eat, you can't go sit at a restaurant. Like I, you know, I I I just, I just hope everyone else is is able to just stay patient, chill, relax a little bit, and just you know, focus on yourself, focus on what's important, the people you care about, you know. That's what I think. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Um, I was actually talking to my um buddy Eric uh, over at Shiv Couture yesterday. You know, about having like a group of people around you, or just even a friend in times like these. You know, I have like a group of friends that I talk to every day, just keep each other sane, just to realize, like, you know what? Yeah, we're going through this tough time, but we have each other, and like we've grown closer in this amount of time. So I know you've been doing that with your uh, friends as well, too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, did you happen to catch the submission underground the other day? Uh, I didn't. Pipe pass? I, I didn't. I saw. I saw. I saw a little bit uh, of Craig Jones clips. Uh, that that's all I saw. What 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 happened? Give me the give me the lowdown. Well, I was watching. Uh, watching a couple. There's a couple of good matches. Um, from the, especially the prelim card, very good. And then when I was watching it, 
it started messing up like a fizzled out because me and Tim, I used his, I share his fight pass with them. So I guess when he he started watching it, it had yeah. cut out. So Buffnet yeah. saw, saw some good grappling exchanges, good transitions. Uh, two guys tried to do like a toe hold on one another, and it was like kind of an epic fail. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it's good that there's there there you know some stuff's getting slipped through the cracks and allowed to go on. You know, I'd be down if they if they did a you know an an MMA card. If the UFC is really trying to do one, you know, or We'll be ready to go. Yeah, for sure, man. I'd definitely like to participate in one of those training camps, you know, to get the, the feel for it, you know. Hell yeah, bro. You come here anytime. For sure. This, we see it on TV, but it's like, what is it like being in the actual atmosphere? Like, you'll, see, you'll find out. All right, cool. Sound like a plan. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Before I let you go, um, you know, of course, you guys are going to get a lot of fights. Who do you have? Uh, in mind that you'd like to fight against like three opponents just at the top of your head like who are you intriguing to fight um well you know i i i would have said i would have liked to get that carlos one but you know that i'm i'm kind of i'm i'm moving past that i, I don't you know i feel like it, he's a little uh injury prone I, i'm not sure if uh that that fight will come to fruition um you know I, man i'm i'm ready to fight anybody I, i'm i'm just ready to fight you know i got i got to chew up a couple guys and get into the top 15 and then you know it's, it's belt or bust for me uh at the end of the day so you know whatever i gotta do to get down that path i, I bet i'll be fighting uh maybe mike perry or someone in the next within the next year it could be a fun one. Oh, that's cool i know um me and tim did an episode a couple back uh, uh weeks ago we were talking about uh kevin lee and uh, charles Oliveira. that was and, a great fight very great fight and you know we were talking about like Kevin Lee should move up to 170, and we were saying like an opponent. I recommend that he should fight a guy like you, like you exactly, like you know, you guys are good grapplers. I think that'd be an intriguing matchup. Yeah, for sure, 100. percent I uh, I watched that fight with him in uh Oliveira. I was very impressed by uh by Oliveira, the way he uh like his grappling, the way he controlled from uh he like it's he just was very seamless, very very relaxed the whole fight. I, I think he's uh. You got to put him right up there in the top of the 55 right now. And Kevin Kevin Lee's no slouch, you know. All right, man. But take care. Keep in touch. And um, wish you the best. And stay safe out here, for real. All right. You too, Al. Good talking to you, right. my brother.